Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Revolution by Hanky Miller. This is the new updated version with a new thumbnail and visuals, because uh, the old version had some problems, I guess. The old thumbnail looked different. So yeah, you might, may, I think there might be a slight spoiler one for this one, I don't know, if you've already played the original. Anyway, revamped and republished, this test makes use of the portal gun on-off concept by Toby and Flooper. Difficulty 6 out of 10, medium. Alright, let's get started, and uh... Not exactly sure what's going on here, but we have the crosshairs and the portal gun. And uh, left and right click don't do anything. I've, I've heard that it's possible to give the player a portal gun with, with no portals, but I've never actually seen that before. So, that's interesting. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's all red and orange and whatever. Interestingly colored. And, uh, first time I tried loading up this map, this was just an error. I had to actually install Bmod in order to get this to work, so... Team Spin and whoever still got some work to do with the, 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 the buttons, or whatever, the buttons, to make sure that they can export properly for the workshop. But, uh, yeah, exit requirement, two cubes, apparently. I actually have not been over here. I basically only wandered in here far enough to see that, that was an error. And then, uh, then I stopped recording and contacted Hanky Mueller, who told me to install Bmod. And I installed Bmod. So it's like, this is a return path. Do we have to, like, crouch to get through this? I don't actually know. But yeah, this is definitely a return path, because it's got this... This penultimate fizzler. This is the fizzler that clears everything. Like, it removes your ability to shoot portals if you've got one of the... One of the buttons over there pressed, so it's like a full reset. It's different from a regular fizzler. Alright, so. Let's actually go step on this button. There we go. Yeah, that's very interesting looking. So this allows us to shoot both portals, interestingly enough. We can't really do anything otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, and that clears the portals even though we don't own the portals right now. Versus a regular fizzler, if we don't own the portals, we can pass through the fizzler scotch-free. See, we can pass through the fizzler, it doesn't clear the portal, because we don't own the portal right now. We only own the portal when we have a portal gun that can place that portal. And this one clears all portals when we walk through it. Doesn't matter if we own them or not. Right. So, there was a cube over here we could go get. Let's go... let's go work on getting that, I suppose. Oh, it's a companion cube. Fancy that. And I'm holding it backwards. Oh, and it makes a sound! Just like in, uh... Whatchamacallit, trapeze. That's cool. I'm glad about that B-mod change, it's very nice. I don't even know if it's a recent change or not. And that gets us a... regular cube. Okay, understood. Well, let's go ahead and put old companion QB on the button. Uh, it, no, I meant to let go. There we go. Seems to be a delay with letting go. If, uh, if you're changing between guns. What? Didn't even notice that there was a light bridge over there. Uh, sure. Uh, hmm. Uh, what's the best way to undo? Control-Z! There we go, I have my portal backwards. There we go. Let's do output here, input over there. There we go. How can I like to tease each other when we get that wrong? Alright. Of course, I started it, so it's mostly my fault. <laughs> and, uh, hmm. That was a bit strange, whatever just happened. What? There are some strange shenanigans happening here. What? Something, something, the game is really freaking out about that. Okay, whatever, anyway. Uh, well we have this cube now. Don't actually know what I want to do with it, unfortunately. Can we take objects through the ultimate fizzlers? I don't remember that. No, cannot. Alright. Well, let's just control Z and pretend I didn't do that. I was just experimenting. Come on. Come on, there we go. Serious. There we go. Give me this cube. I don't actually know what we're gonna do with it, but I want it. Looks like we can aim at that from here, so let's go work on making that happen. There we go. Got our portals back. And sure, why not? Alright, so, this is a place. This is 
is a place that exists. And I've got my portals backwards, because of course I do. Of course I do. Right. Maybe not necessarily, but it seems like it. Based on how this is going thus far. So it looks like our end goal is just to get both cubes into here, right? Yeah, because then if we get both cubes into here, we can just go down here. Hmm. So nothing turns off these fizzlers, right? Does anything turn off these fizzlers? Something turns this off? Huh. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. Alright, that button exists. I did kind of forget. Okay, so that... That is the only portal surface that we have access to when we're with the cube. Understood. So that is our end goal, actually. Hmm. So I think we do that takes away our portals, and then we can go outside, right? I believe so. And then... what happens if we do this? So that allows the light bridge to go over to here now. Hmm. So then let's go all the way back all the way down here. Take that off. I don't actually think we need to take it with us, I'll just leave it here for now. Let me save and continue. Alright, come on. There we go. Haha. <laughs> of course, we can't actually... get a portal there. Yeah, hmm. Am I overcomplicating things? I think I might slightly be overcomplicating things. So we can't use this button if we have the light bridge coming out of there or coming out of there. That is a definite thing. As far as I'm aware, we can't see... Yeah, I can't see that from in here. Understood. Hmm. Oh, don't you do that to me, Windows 10. That, that freaks me out whenever it just starts rapidly spinning my camera. Well, that portal surface has gotta be useful for something. There's gotta be a reason we would wanna do that. But we can't get out here when we use that portal surface for the light bridge, which is confusing me. place the portal anywhere but there. Yeah, and now I've just totally messed things up. Let's go see what this does anyway. I mean, it's different. It's something I haven't done necessarily, so I can at least try it and see what happens. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, did I do it already? What did I even just do there? So I took the cube off the light bridge button. Did I see? Am I making this? Am I? Am I making this harder in my head than it really is, or something? No, because we still can't easily get the companion cube in here. We could swap the cubes. Yeah. So we're not done yet. We're definitely not done yet. Or are we? Can't I just do this? Uh, please stay on the button, thank you. Haha, <laughs> double light bridges. Alright, well... Maybe we are done yet, I don't actually know. That was... weird. Oh, because it was redrawing because that was moving, right. We have both cubes here, are we done? I guess we are. <laughs> I... I was totally expecting something much harder than that. Okay, so in my defense, Hanky Miller makes exceedingly hard maps. His- his maps are great and challenging. He makes really hard maps, and, uh, when he said 6 out of 10 medium, I thought it was gonna be 6 out of 10 on Hanky Miller scale, not 6 out of 10 on LB scale. 
Alright, well, yes, that was 6 out of 10 on my scale, actually. Nice work, Hank Mueller. I was, I'm looking forward to having my brain... Actually, I'm not looking forward to having my brain completely broken in an extremely challenging map that uses this concept. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Sure hope I didn't break that somehow. By no clipping or something.